50 years ago this morning, the entire nation was holding its breath as Apollo 11 made its final descent onto the moon. Our astronauts, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, it became a life or death situation. Armstrong manually guided the lunar lander, known as the Eagle, carefully down to the moon's surface. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. I look at that uh, landing as uh, really uh, some of the finest piloting I've ever seen in my life. Since Apollo 11, the U.S. has sent six manned spacecraft to the moon. Today, NASA says they're working to send people back to the moon by 2024 with the thought that the next stop could be Mars. And as we celebrate this historic day, the pride still reigns in the people who had a role in sending our astronauts to the moon, including those right here in Colorado. Denver 7's Sean Toll tells us how their lives have inspired a new generation. So Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins are here and here. Ren Combs didn't know how big a deal her father was when she was a kid. It was just who my dad worked with. I had no idea of the impact until I've gotten older, certainly with what's happening now with Apollo. Her father, Dr. Joseph Combs Jr., was in the Air Force. Here's his Top Gun picture. <laughs> he was a pilot. And eventually worked with the space program in the early years. There's the lab. There's my father. Combs worked in the medical labs and was one of the astronaut physicians. Here's the article about my father and the heart monitor that he designed. That heart monitor allowed Mission Control to keep tabs on the astronauts and their health in space. So with everything going on to celebrate this week, it takes her back to when they all watched the moon landing together. We all got to stay up and watch it. And I remember both of my grandparents and my dad were a little speechless when it all happened because not only did my father know them, but it, it was just a program he was very proud to have been a part of. The amount of pride she's had watching everything has been overwhelming. That I sat here with tears streaming down my face because I said, that's my dad. So it's been emotional and beautiful. Her father passed away in November 2017, but his work lives on. The eagle has landed. And she knows that when she sees that grainy archival video, a piece of her father is still there. I'm so proud of it. Any chance I get to tout what my father did just keeps me remembering him. Sean Toll. Denver 7.